Evening. Thank you for joining us for Local 5 News at 10. I'm Connie Thelman. The 65th Annual Grammy Award Show just wrapped up. Some big headlines from it that we will get to in just a bit. All new tonight at 10. As sturgeon spearing season approaches, many are exploring the history of the season. Local 5's Bryce Oselin spoke with one local man who was essential in preventing this prehistoric fish from becoming extinct. I heard so much about sturgeon fishing because Lake Winnebago is the only place where people really fish sturgeon, you know, because there aren't, there were no sturgeon in other lakes. 92-year-old Bill Casper's love for sturgeon spearing began when he was just eight years old. I just had to go and see what was going on out in that lake, so that's what I did. I was 14 when I got my first one. In the 1970s, Casper noticed the amount of the prehistoric fish was decreasing. Shortly after, he found its sturgeon for tomorrow and began harvesting the fish. The organization now has multiple chapters around the state. We have four around Lake Winnebago, and way in the upper river lakes, they started a chapter a number of years ago, and there's five around this system where we are. While Casper is recognized as a sturgeon legend, he commends the work of spears and members of his organization for the advancement of the fish. Every banquet we had, fundraising banquets, we have given DNR over a million dollars from our banquets. All our money goes to sturgeon. We've been at it 40 some years, 50 years almost. The Department of Natural Resources says sturgeon registration stations will be available for spears this season. In Fond du Lac, Bryce Oslin, Local 5 News. Oh, he's got some fish tails to sell. Sturgeon spearing season begins this coming Saturday, February 11th. The season lasts 16 days or until harvest caps are met.